my name is Ananya Krishna. I am a first year at Yale College in Morse, and I'm really interested in global and public health. Awesome, that's super cool. Well, tell me a little bit more about your project here. This seems super cool. Yeah, yeah. so um, especially nowadays with hospitals overburdened by too many appointments, I thought it would be nice to bring in the features of diagnosis to the patient's own home. So I made a website called Symptomatch that allows a patient to input their symptoms and receive a possible diagnosis along with possible treatments. Gotcha. So you can test it out if you want. Okay, and yeah, sure thing. I can just put in any symptoms. Yeah, feel like right, sick gotcha. today? Yeah, no, thankfully not, but let's go ahead and put in something here. So let's see. I. I'll say I have a slight fever. Uh, we'll say I have a dry cough. I, you know what? I think we'll keep that pulse rate. Right? You know what? We're feeling good today. No, no headache. Uh, I think maybe I'm a little pale. Thankful I can taste things. You know, I, I want to enjoy the dining hall food. Uh, we'll say I have a, a little bit of a weird sense of smell currently, though. And then vision, a little blurry. We'll keep that normal. We'll keep that normal. Keep that normal too. Maybe we'll say a little bit of a you know sore throat, and then we'll say I'm a little bit tired. Mm -hmm. All right, then should I just go ahead and click on this over here? Yep. Awesome. Yeah, let's go and do that. Sounds good. Looks like you might have psoriasis. Gotcha. So I don't know what that is. Can you tell me a little bit more about yeah, that? Yeah. So psoriasis is kind of an allergic condition. Okay. So I think that what really flagged it is the pallor and the pain. So often, like changes in your skin condition or the way that you feel in response to certain stimuli can indicate a condition that's allergic, such as psoriasis. Gotcha. And I so, see yeah. right here it's recommending me to use some non-irritating cream. So I guess I gotta go to like a pharmacy and look that up. Yeah. 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 Okay. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. This is such a fantastic project. Of course. Um, I mean, obviously, you seem very interested in medicine. Can you tell me a little bit more about what inspired? you to make this project? Sure, yeah. yeah. So for me personally, I would say that my um, interest lies beyond just medicine itself and also public health and global health more gotcha, broadly. Yeah. And I think especially with the pandemic overburdening a lot of staff and with like a lack of appointments and clinician burnout, having a tool for patients to practice social distancing, you know, staying in their homes to make these recommendations without necessarily having to go out to outpatient settings to do things is really convenient. And also just having patients more informed about the type of diseases that exist out there and what symptoms can indicate that is super important for public health outcomes. Gotcha. So that was a huge inspiration. Yeah, definitely. And I can imagine that having to match up all these symptoms to specific diseases must be a little bit difficult. So I was wondering if you could tell me about like a bug or an issue day to overcome when working on this project. Yeah, for yeah. sure. So um, I basically created a ton of different two-dimensional arrays with JavaScript. Mm -hmm. And doing so meant that I had to like individually and manually input each symptom for each I disease. See. Okay, gotcha. And really be smart about kind of the diseases I was picking in particular because there are so many different symptoms and so many different diseases that exist. So I wanted to pick some good symptoms that had some overlap across conditions and also some kind of generalizable conditions um, as opposed to ones that had super specific onsets. So I think that really changing my selection in terms of symptoms and diseases was super helpful in my design. Gotcha, yeah. yeah. And I guess on the flip side of things here, uh, what part of your project are you most proud of? I think that actually some of the graphics I'm really proud of. I yeah. had to use a new library called 3JS to make okay. the spinning virus here. Oh, okay. And this is entirely custom? Yes. Wow, yeah. Okay. I basically yeah. made that virus with JavaScript and it's just gotcha. rendered on the screen. So that was something I had no clue that I was even capable of doing. Wow. I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. I never knew that was possible to do with, you said JavaScript? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, I guess, you know, this is a very like useful project that many people can use, right? I can imagine like on this campus, for example, whenever there's like a wave of flu going around, this might be really useful to have. So do you have any plans or next steps that you might want to work on in the future to get this project out to more people or add some more features? Yeah, for yeah. sure. It's definitely possible. I think that maybe the use of an API might help me like uh, streamline a lot more diseases mm -hmm. than I have currently with the JavaScript lists. Um, and I think also maybe adding in more features besides recommendations that really educate patients about about like their possible like implications of their conditions and kind of the preventative measures they need to take would also have beneficial outcomes. Gotcha. Think, yeah. Wait, that sounds great. I mean, thanks so much again for showing me this. This seems like such an awesome project. <laughs> of course, thank you so much. Yeah, and this is CS50.